Welcome back, everyone. We are not gonna make it to that thing. We did it! Sweet. We are going back to Phineas's lab. Hopefully, he's still alive and he can, uh, resurrect our pals, the other colonists. <laughs> Hopefully, I remember which way to go. Ow. Hopefully, I don't have to shoot anyone else. <laughs> Whew. I only had to kill a few robots. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Ada, prepare to take off. Oh man, I, I was getting really nervous in that last episode. I didn't know if we were gonna make it or not. But we made it. We're good. <laughs> Captain. I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The transmission... Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Sweet! Thank the Lord you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board... All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine! Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine! You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. You don't say. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? Yes, please. How can I be of assistance? I'm in the mood for some entertainment! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> As if that wasn't entertaining enough. <laughs> we have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, um. and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would you like to do the honors? Congratulations, we're all still alive. <laughs> Nioka, you're with me. Yeah, Nioka and Pavati. Sorry, I was, I was losing myself in thought for a moment. <laughs> Hey, Phineas. Are you still alive, mate? <laughs> Excuse me. So, I have a feeling we're going to need to shoot some, uh, some corporate peeps. <laughs> Contingency plan activated. Publishing last will and testament. Success. Please present login password to continue. <coughs> Where's the 
is the Logan password. Oh no, did Phineas die? Phineas! Where'd you go, mate? Phineas! Are you in here? Phineas! Do I have to kill that commander for the, uh, the thingy? Oh, Phineas' terminal pass came. Of course, he hid it in the sisty pick. If you are seeing the screen, I, Phineas the Fifth Wells, oh, I, Phineas V. Wells, have been per perniciously kidnapped and very probably incarcerated by the perfidious and cowardly government of Halcyon in the prison fortress of Tartarus. If I have not already been executed for charges leveled against me, I hope the per person reading this terminal will find a way to finish my work or rescue me. Preferably the latter. This screen constitutes my last will and testament. I commend my body and my belongings to the icy depths of the Aether. If this is Olaf, I've prepared an emergency care package located in a hidden panel. Unlock the panel from my terminal and claim its contents immediately. <coughs> Phineas' Wells eyes only. No, must delete entries from terminal memory, no telling who might be looking. The Hope made it to Helsey, and after all, 25 years too late. The board doesn't know what to do with an entire ship full of frozen colonists. So naturally, they're going to leave them there. Corporate tells us revival is impossible. They've tried absolutely nothing, and apparently they're all out of options. Boulder Dash. Cellular regeneration after long-term hibernation is really just a question of thermodynamics. I'm quite confident I can find a way to revive the Hope's colonists, if only Corporate would authorize my requests. Frankly, I don't see why I need the permission of my employers to conduct experiments in the name of scientific advancement. Of course you don't. What nonsense. Did Newton beg permission from his employers before discovering the three laws of motion? Genius is not beholden to the vicissitus of bureaucracy. Besides, the Hope has a cargo of hundreds of thousands of colonists. The board practically expects a few to go missing. <coughs> 113 seconds, new record. Most of my subjects last 93 seconds on average, before total cellular liquefaction reduces them to several gallons of organic soup, three degrees above freezing temperature. 113 seconds of screaming. The subject was stronger than the others, but in the end, his body failed to survive the revival process. He was my twelfth subject to die. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. Strictly speaking, I do know the Hope has hundreds of thousands of colonists. The only experiment I, I've i only experimented on twelve. How many more experiments before I successfully revive a single subject? One, ten, one hundred, five hundred. 100, 500. Statistically insignificant. If I experimented on one subject every month, I would not make a dent in the Hope's population in a lifetime. Can still hear the screaming. Trouble sleeping. Trouble concentrating. Psychological toll significant. <laughs> on to subject number 13. Good grief, mate. I always suspected this would happen. The board finally discovered what I'd done and sent their headhunters to track me down, but they'll never find me. They say I'm a murderer, and they're right. I am. I regret what I've done, but I'm not about to turn myself into the board. I'm not going to go begging for the board's forgiveness. Only the Hope's colonists can forgive me for what I've done. 
They're the only people who can set things right, and I'm going to find a way to revive them, no matter how long I have to stay in hiding. I've got my notes with me, I'll have my equipment, and now I have this lab. It's time I return to work. Bloody hell, so you've been experimenting for a while now. <coughs> so where was this, uh, sacred compartment? <laughs> so that sort of brings up the more question is it morally acceptable to attempt to revive people in stasis <laughs> oh man uh I I can't answer. I I don't know. <coughs> um, yeah, sure. Let me unlock more leadership. <laughs> Nioka and Pavati got new uh, perks as well. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Pavati, what do you have? Plus 10 engineering. Why not? Alright, you two. Let's go. Is that corporate commander at? Now we just wait for him to go over there. <coughs> and we skedaddle. <laughs> they didn't even see me. Yeah. I really dislike moral choices like that, because I don't know what to choose. And I feel, I always feel bad after my choice. Reviving about 10, 20 colonists in an attempt to figure out how to fully revive them without them dying. I don't really, uh damage your uh, psychological senses, you know? <laughs> Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to... As you humans put it, air some concerns. Yeah, sure. Hiya, crew. Well, folks, I ain't exactly keen on busting into a prison, but riddling bored stooges with bullets does sound like a ride and a half. Breaking Phineas Wells out of a maximum security penitentiary. I can't think of a better lost cause to commit ourselves to. <laughs> To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. We can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him if we have any hope of saving the colony. What's so bad about the labyrinth? It's a torment, Captain. Think on the deepest, darkest pit you can imagine and wrap it up in a storm so nasty it'll peel the skin right off your bones. That's Tartarus. Still, we can't do nothing. It wouldn't be right. 
The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison site are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. You don't I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. <laughs> Crew, what do you think about all this? It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime up. <laughs> it's what our units do best. Your <laughs> plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. Yeah! Strap in, everyone! We're doing if you don't it. make it, at least it'll be a great story. <laughs> got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Don't call me boss. Outstanding. <laughs> you can count on us, Captain. We're crew, for real crew. That means we got each other's backs, right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Good. Command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. Let's go. This is going to be fun. I have my crew, I have Ada, and I have a really big weapon. Let's go to Tartarus. Would you like to save? Yes, please. I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. I'm not please scared. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Know anything useful about Tartarus? Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. <laughs> Take a scarf with you, Captain. Yes. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me in the event that you do not return. You promise not to leave without me, Ida? I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another captain unless you do not return within 876,541,682 oh hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. How long will that take? I wager it'll take a bit longer than it takes you to lose your patience and storm out of your ship looking to get shot. To be honest, that'd make my job a lot easier. You come out, we shoot you full of holes, and then everyone goes about their day worry-free. Except you. You'll be dead. Hmm, hey, how do I know... Fuck. 
Hey, how do I know you're a real officer under that helmet? Show me your biometric ID. <laughs> Alright. I'm feeling generous. I'm transmitting the idea of a productive, law-abiding employee so you can see what one looks like before you die. Anyway, Tartar Stalking Authority signing up. Hang on. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the... Pay no mind to that, just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. Biometric ID received. Transferring data to external cartridge. <laughs> How can I be of Oh, I love you, Ada. That bastard was a complete sap. Captain. <laughs> uh, and with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the next video too, where we actually break into Tartarus and free Phineas. Tschüss. <laughs> All right. Take five editing, I gotta get up and stretch again. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience.